Caitlin Clark absolutely torched the New York Liberty's defense, and boy, I wonder why. This is honestly insane. You are running drop coverage on the greatest shooter in WNBA history. Why am I not up hedging this screen, pushing her to the sidelines? There's no place for Aaliyah Boston to roll to. I have backside help right there, and we're pushing Clark to the sidelines. Nope, let's let Caitlin Clark walk right into an open three. This is not hard. This is not a choice. So you go under the handoff. If Aaliyah Boston twists here to set a second screen, then I have, it is not a choice. I've got to get up and jam Aaliyah Boston as she's setting that screen. Look at this. Up, up. I've got to jam her so that the defender can get underneath and on the other side at the same time. You're not touching Aaliyah Boston, the screener. So clank right into the screen. Caitlin Clark's on the other side an hour early, and it's just push to the rim. The New York Liberty's transition defense is some kind of terrible. Why are we not getting back here underneath Aaliyah Boston? Look at this. Get underneath and battle for a position. Walking back. Walking back. Bounce pass from Caitlin Clark right into a layup. Caitlin Clark has the ball in the open floor with a full head of steam. I cannot backpedal. You know your help's in the middle of the floor. Is anyone communicating this? Don't backpedal. I'm up keeping Caitlin Clark coming to the middle of the floor where there's help. Instead, you're just backpedaling, backpedaling, actually allowing her to go away from any help. So now you're off balance. Step back three in your eye. One-on-one -on -one defense here is just absolutely atrocious. Why can't we just get in a defensive stance? Palms of our feet, ready to slide. So now if Caitlin Clark comes to the middle of the floor right here, I should have defenders everywhere in the gaps right there. From the weak side wing, from the block. Instead, look at this defender. You're coming uphill to guard Caitlin Clark. As you're slowly tiptoeing uphill, she's just going to blow by you downhill. Now it's, you're completely turned around. Another step back three. It is truly astonishing just how poorly coached this New York Liberty team is. Great one-on-one -on -one defense on Caitlin Clark. Her dribble's picked up. There's no place for her to go. So this defender right here, all I got to do is just stay at the three-point line, seeing ball, seeing man. Why? You do not guard past the three-point line away from the ball. You're coming all the way out to half court. Easy blow by back door. And now Caitlin Clark gets an assist out of this. It's off a made basket. The Liberty score here. It's a layup. Get back. Where's the communications? We already see this girl for New York jogging back. What about this girl for New York? Why are you standing in the absolute middle of nowhere right there? Why are you not over? Was there any communication? Caitlin Clark assist. Look at this. Why am I going over a screen that is set at half court? Just go under. Meet Caitlin Clark on the other side. Look at this again. You go over. So now you're in drop coverage, creating a two-on-one. Easy pocket pass. Another Caitlin Clark assist. This is not hard. It is truly astonishing how poorly coached the Liberty are. Aaliyah Boston setting a down screen for Caitlin Clark. I've got first of all, I gotta be seeing ball and Aaliyah Boston right here. You're not seeing this. She's setting a down screen. I've got to be attached to Aaliyah Boston with my arms extended. So Caitlin Clark can't curl off this down screen. If there's anyone who can't be allowed to curl off a down screen, it's Caitlin Clark. The defender's nowhere. Curls right off the down screen. This brings a third defender having to come over to the ball, and that's another easy assist. It is truly astonishing how poorly coached the New York Liberty are. I mean, my God, you're not in help here on the weak side wing. Could we see Ball and who we're guarding here? What is happening? Why are you staring at Caitlin Clark for an hour? Another assist. More transition defense issues. I'm wa First of all, it'd be nice if we were sprinting back here, but I'm watching this girl for New York. Look at her right here communicating to take Aaliyah Boston. I'm not going to be able to get back. I'm going to have to go to the wing right here. I'm watching her communicate this. So where's the defender going? Why are you not taking Aaliyah Boston? We just watched that girl communicate. Another easy assist in transition.
And then this just couldn't be more pathetic one-on-one -on -one defense. You're switching. Why can't we just get over defensive stance, ready to slide our feet? Our help would be in the, the girl gets underneath Aaliyah Boston on the switch. You have nothing but help in the middle of the floor. Why is the defender coming immediately out to gamble? Immediately. And you get dusted. It is not hard for Caitlin Clark to pile up assists when no one sprints back in transition. Look at this girl. Sprint back. Sprint back. Why are you walking? Why do you think it's okay to walk? And there's your triple-double right there. There is no reason this is coaching. You cannot hug the three-point line. They've again ISO'd Caitlin Clark. So the defender right there, you got to move over here. Get in the gaps. Get towards the elbow here. So when Caitlin Clark crosses over right here, boom. My feet are set. I'm in a defensive stance. I'm stunting. I'm recovering, getting the dribble picked up. Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. So now Caitlin Clark can play bully ball in the paint. Her dribble's still alive for no reason and won. The New York Liberty clearly, clearly never talk about transition defense. It is not okay to get to the middle of nowhere. I got to get to a body. So that defender right there at the top of the screen's got to get back to that Indiana Fever player. You get cross-matched all the time. Why does this Liberty player think it's okay to get back to the absolute middle of nowhere? Another Caitlin Clark assist in transition. How many mistakes do you want to count here? First of all, in the strong side corner. That's not a defensive stance, and I got to be seeing Caitlin Clark and who I'm guarding in the corner. It's not even close to a defensive stance, and you're staring at the ball. So you're going to get beat on a cut right here. Here comes another Caitlin Clark assist. You're not even seeing what's happening. Cut to the rim. Now, this defender guarding Caitlin Clark, as soon as she makes that pass, should be dropping with her back to the sideline, so she's in the gap. So even though that defender completely ignored the girl in the corner and is getting blown by on a cut, I'm still in that gap. I can stunt, recover, get the dribble picked up. None of that happens. Another Caitlin Clark assist.